Hi everyone, my name is Julie Sebi. I write the Analytics Corner blog that focuses on data engineering, analytics, and visualization with Alteryx and Spotfire. You can find my site at the URL shown on the screen. I'm doing more and more with video, so please click the subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest analytics content. Long load times are a problem that all Spotfire users struggle with eventually. The first step to fixing long load times involves understanding which tables are taking the longest to load. Spotfire provides this information in the help menu, but it's not in a form that's easy to work with. This week, I needed to help one of our project teams optimize their Spotfire project, so I built an Excel template to parse this data. Now I know what to go after in order to improve their load times. So in this video, I'm going to show you where to find that data, how to understand it and interpret it, and then within the blog post, there is a link to a downloadable Excel template that you can copy and paste this diagnostic info into in order to parse it out and actually make good use of it. So first, let's go take a look at the help menu. We're going to go into help, support diagnostics and logging, and as soon as this pops up, we'll go into the diagnostic information tab. Here you can see that at the top of diagnostic information, you have the approximate table and view size for everything in the DXP. Now, you might be asking yourself, why does this differentiate between table size and view size? Tables are the actual raw data tables that are being imported into the DXP. Completions fluids, weekly scorecards, data QAQC, these are actually tables. The view size is actually referring to views that the Spotfire data engine creates kind of behind the scenes for every visualization in a project. And so these aren't actually data tables. These names are names of visualizations in my projects. There's a little bit of summary information right here. And then if, if we scroll down, we'll get to the load time data, which is shown in milliseconds for each data table in a project. You'll also notice in the load time stats that Spotfire is going to delineate between different tr transformation steps. Source column producer is referring to loading in the raw data, which is different from data transformation column producer, which is where transformation steps are being applied. I have another example of this in a different DXP that I can pull up. So here's a different support diagnostics logging window. I have approximate table size, view size, and if I scroll down, you'll see that in the load time and size, we have add columns producer for where I'm inserting columns. Source column producer is the raw data being loaded. External column producer, I believe, is an output as a result of a data function. And so just know that you'll see different load times for different activities in the diagnostic information. Let's go into the template that I've built. You might be wondering why I did this in Excel rather than Spotfire. And that's because the diagnostic data essentially comes in two formats. There's the format for the table size, view size, and then there's the format for load time and size. And I don't need all of the calculations for each format. If I were creating this in Spotfire, I could do it one of two ways. I could split this into two tables and duplicate a bunch of my calculated columns, or I could put it into one table and then add a bunch of if logic to account for the different formats, or I could just do this in Excel. Not to mention the fact that I don't have to go into and out of the add calculated column dialogs to see the result. I also don't need to have this task in Spotfire. I don't need to make it perfect. And so I just resorted to uh, Excel. And also WordPress won't let me upload DXPs. They block the file format. All you have to do to get to use this template is within the help menu, you'll just want to go into that tab and click on the copy button at the bottom. So just click this copy info, copied to my clipboard. We'll add a new sheet. And at this point, you'll want to do a little bit of uh, editing. And essentially what you want to keep is the approximate table size, view size, and the load time size. All of the other records you can just go ahead and get rid of, but take these and paste them into the template that you downloaded. Now, once we're in that template, you'll see a lot of calculated columns. They may be hidden. Just highlight them and unhide, and you'll see the table name and a whole bunch of calculations that are really just intended to get to this table size unit and table size in kilobytes. 
So I'll go ahead and hide those again. And this is the data that we're really after. Now, I want to note that I had a lot of trouble getting Excel to sort the columns correctly. I ran a couple of different tests and I didn't get consistent results on whether um, it was the use of this value formula or changing the format or adding a comma or adding a decimal. But my first attempts at getting this to sort didn't work well. But as you can see, it will sort it. And ultimately, the two questions that I'm trying to ask and answer with this data set are which tables are the slowest to load and what processes slow down the load. And I can see that my geo model data table is basically 99% of my load time. 89% uh, of that time is bringing in the source data, 7% of that time is transforming the data, and then there's another 2% of the time that is spent adding columns into this data set. This is an information link in my DXP, so I'm going to go cache that information link and set up an automation services job and a scheduled update in order to make this, this load a lot faster. And that'll really help speed up my load times. So now you have the tools that you need to improve your Spotfire load times. If you find the content useful, please share and subscribe. Thank you.